Hi, I'm Marissa Nadler, a musician, songwriter, and fine artist from Boston, Massachusetts, currently living in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I'll be reading A Cosmic Glitch in Gravity by Tom Metcalf from Nautilus Magazine. Einstein's theory of gravity is a cornerstone of modern cosmology. It has been tested and proven correct over and over again, and is supported by the discovery of countless cosmic phenomena, from gravitational lensing and anomalies in Mercury's orbit to galactic redshifts and gravitational waves. The theory of general relativity has precisely predicted them all. But astronomical observations near the cosmological horizon, where the farthest galaxies recede from us at nearly the speed of light, suggest gravity may act differently at the very largest scales. Some scientists propose Einstein's theory of gravity could be improved by adding a simple footnote to his equations, which amounts to a cosmic glitch in the scientific understanding of gravity. Cosmologist Niyayesh Afshordi is a senior author on a new research paper published in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics that describes this cosmic glitch model as an extension to Einstein's gravitational theory. Researchers suggest that their footnote would not only account for the observed large-scale discrepancies, but could also help ease other tensions in astronomy, where the predictions of the best theories don't agree with astronomical observations, including the expansion rate of the universe and the abundance of superclusters of galaxies. Scientists have made dozens of attempts over recent decades to modify Einsteinian gravity to better fit observations. One of these is the theory of massive gravity, another is MOND, which applies modified Newtonian dynamics and was developed as an alternative to dark matter theories. In addition, there are several early dark energy theories, which proposed that the dark energy thought to drive the expansion of the universe was much stronger in the first 100,000 years after the Big Bang. Unlike these other theories, which are driven by discrepancies in the data, the cosmic glitch model is derived from specific fundamental theoretical challenges to Einsteinian gravity that have been developed in recent decades. These challenges include the idea that quantum gravity works differently at high energies and the Einstein ether framework, which introduces a dynamic form of the ether that Einstein aimed to eliminate. It was only after they developed their theory to reconcile these theoretical issues that the researchers behind the cosmic glitch theory decided to see if the theory fit the observational data from the Planck Space Telescope, which studied the cosmic microwave background. The results were remarkable. The usual value for the gravitational constant in Einstein's field equations, the core mathematical equations of general relativity, can accurately explain almost everything that's been observed in the cosmos, he says. But field equations related to observations taken at the cosmological horizon seem to require a different value for the gravitational constant. The effect is that gravity becomes about 1% weaker over distances spanning billions of light years. The researchers found that applying their cosmic glitch model also reduces two important tensions in astronomy. The most notable is the famous Hubble tension, a discrepancy in values for the Hubble constant, a number that represents the expansion rate of the universe. Observations of cosmic microwave background radiation produce one value for the Hubble constant, while observations based on the standard candle supernovas and distant galaxies produce another value. Cosmic glitch model also reduces a key component of the clustering tension, which measures the unexpected abundance of galaxy superclusters in the universe. At the same time, however, the cosmic glitch model worsens the accuracy of some predictions such as the baryonic acoustic oscillations, ripples in the average distances between galaxies, which seem to have been caused by pressure waves generated during the formation of the early universe. But the scientists hope the discrepancies can be improved with better modeling and observations. Over the next several years, the CMB Stage 4 Observatory and the Euclid Space Telescope are scheduled to collect new observations of the cosmic wave background 
and the billions of galaxies across 10 billion light years, but with a precision four times greater than the ones that the researchers used in their calculations. If the cosmic glitch is there, that will be enough to reveal it. Thank you so much for listening along with me. I have a new record coming out in the next year and 11 others that you can dig into if I'm new to you. I hope that you have a good day.